You're okay, Cougar. Just stay on my wing. I'll take you all the way in. Just stay with me. Gentlemen, this school is about combat. There are no points for second place. Suddenly, here we are. 30 years later. Well, I'll take you back to the beginning. See, when I was uh, a little kid, we moved around a lot. And there were two photos that I always traveled with. I had a picture of a P-51 and a picture of a Spitfire. The dreams that I had uh, growing up, I wanted to be an actor, make movies, I love movies. And I wanted to be an aviator. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! You have pilots and then you have aviators. You know, it wasn't war for me. It was the beauty of those airplanes and to fly them. Freedom. To see the world from a different perspective. You know, when I look at the birds, they're so beautiful and graceful. And to have that kind of freedom. I got to fly with the best of the best. It was exhilarating. Really, I've never experienced anything like it. Top Gun is a seminal movie for me, and it's always about the people you work with. And there's such great memories with my partner, with Warren Skarin and Cash and Epps, Tom Cruise, and the people who worked on that movie. It's like going to camp. You go to camp and you have a great time for eight weeks, and then you go home. And a lot of times you never see these people again. But you always remember those moments you spent together, and that's, that's Top Gun. Well, there was a magazine called California Magazine, and on the cover was a jet and another jet inverted. One was upside down on top of the other one, and I said, this is really cool. I read the article about the Top Gun School in Miramar, and I said, this could be a great movie. I threw it on Don's desk. He got very excited about it. We'd done Flashdance together. That was Don Simpson and my first project together. And I think we'd already made Beverly Hills Cop at that point. Simpson Brookheimer are the producers in Hollywood, you know, Beverly Hills Cop, and they really were Paramount Pictures at that point. We turned it into Paramount, and they said, eh, we're not so sure. Management changed. And Ned Tannen said, what do you guys have? I need movies, I don't have any movies. And he read it and he said, this is pretty exciting. How much is it gonna cost? And he said around $14 million. He said, go make it. The only guy we were thinking about to make the movie was, was Tom Cruise, always. We saw Risky Business, we thought he was fantastic. We saw his earlier movies. And you know, it was a process to get Tom. They first offered me the film I think it was the beginning or the end of 1983. And at this time, I was off in London working with Ridley Scott, who had just done Blade Runner. And I remember I didn't really address Top Gun during that time period. I was more focused on shooting Legend. And it was quite a learning experience for me. And it was the first time I went, oh my god, every element is important in making movies. You know, I went to every department and I would just sit there and just asked a lot of questions, sometimes just watched. I just want to learn as much as I possibly can about this craft. End of 1984, Ridley said, you know, you got to meet my brother and he's going to direct this film, Top Gun. You know, it's aligned with the things that I love, movies and aviation. So you're the one. Yes, ma'am. We went on a raft trip, Don Simpson and myself, and Tony was one of the guys that came along with us. And he was such an adventurer. We'd look up and there's Tony climbing a 30-foot wall with just his hands, no ropes, no nothing. So I flew to LA for two days, and I went to Simpson Brookheimer's office on Paramount Lot early in the morning, and Tony Scott was there. So alive and passionate about making this movie. He's more of a new generation filmmaker, very talented unbelievable eye. He had all of these books laid out, setting up a motif of what he wanted the film to look like, inspiring images. Tony found this book by Bruce Weber, who's a photographer, 
and it had all these kind of good-looking men, and they were all so all-American. And Tony kind of threw that on our desk and said, this is what this movie's going to look like. These are the men that are going to populate this film. And Tom fit right into that mold. I got in the car and I was flying back to New York and I had uh, my representative there and I said, listen, here's the deal, I'm gonna make this movie. But don't tell anyone that yet. <laughs> Guys, here's what I want. You know, and I'm like 20, 21 years old. Kind of my next level of education, I was like, I wanna be in all the script meetings. I want to have all of that available to me because really I just wanted to learn. I wanted to learn from working with Simpson Bruckheimer and uh, those producers, really understand the studio system at Paramount inside out. For the first time, I kind of said my deal, I want marketing consultation. And I do remember sitting at that big long table and they're like, here's this actor coming in. You know what I mean? I didn't know what they expected. You know, they've got to consult with me, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I remember the first meeting I said, listen, I don't know your job at all. I don't pretend to know. Please, I just want to understand why you're doing the things you do and what is it from the ground up. It was formative for me this time period and I had a hell of a lot of fun. And I said another thing is that you have to get Paramount to agree that I must fly in the F-14 in the movie and that they have to keep you know some of the footage that we shoot of me in the F-14 in the film. So I really thought this out, you know? Because <laughs> I was thinking future, like, as a filmmaker and a storyteller, but also giving the audience that experience that I want as an audience. The only way I'll make this movie is if I get to fly. That's it. What, what does he mean he's got to fly in, in an airplane? You know, it's like all that stuff that went on that I, that I have uh, kind of... Uh, dealt with my entire career, actually. You know, they, as, but as the years go on, they just realize that's part of the deal. They're gonna acquiesce. Get them up flying soon. And luckily, Simpson Bruckheimer and Tony and Paramount agreed to those stipulations. And I came back to California and we started really working away on the script.